Welcome back to more Dark Souls 2 with me, Oni Black Mage. Uh, as promised, I am back here in the Huntsman Cops. I am here to finish up this area before moving on to that mining area. There aren't... I don't believe I've missed hidden doors, because this doesn't seem like a heavy, uh, heavy hidden door area, given how it's kind of outdoorsy. However, there are certainly locked rooms that uh, I certainly have unlocked, so... As usual, I don't mind running through here again because picking up more poison moss to repel poison, which is very heavy in the next area, is uh, highly desired. Okay, so, taking this big guy out. And I am making a point to keep more fire on me. Alright, so as you can see right here in this area, right past this first bridge, you just want to turn around to your right and keep going uphill. This leads off to a secondary. You see that bridge in the distance? That's kind of where we're going. That looks like another giant sort of Bastille slash Coliseum area. Alright, so... I can see some treasure... Oh, there we go. Oh, it's like that guy in the bottom of the pit. Oh, he is fast. He has the exact same attack pattern as the, um... As the Lost Sinner, actually. But, thankfully, a lot more weak. Or, a lot weaker. Yeah, that enemy certainly was tougher. He hit a lot harder. He dropped a lot of experience, though. So that, that probably tells me we're, I'm either getting close to the next area or the next boss. Because as, as the typical pattern is, the harder the enemies get, the closer you're getting to the next boss. So if you're in, if you're in your area and you're noticing some fodder enemies like, like these guys right here, take like one, maybe two shots just to get rid of. And then you come across some medium difficulty enemies, a little bit tougher than fodder, but not necessarily challenging. Unless you're overwhelmed or unlucky. Then, once you start encountering some tough enemies, then you know you're getting really close to, to the boss. So it's probably a boss, maybe in that arena. This could be like with the uh, Lost Sinner, where that's a, that entire area is just a giant arena. Okay. Dark Corridor, perfect for ambush. Let's see. Alright. Gotta drop down on me, no problem. Keeping my agility up, even though I have Drain Light Armor on. Fortunately, within my encumbrance. Oh, that's like the first whip wielding enemy I've seen. Oh gosh, I've attracted too many of them. Not good. This isn't good. Oh, they attack too quickly. I can't find a break to heal. Oh, this isn't good. Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't good. Okay, so it also looks like they deal dark energy as well. Okay, so... <clears throat> it seems what I need to do is just uh, try to draw one at a time. Lure one out, finish it off, divide and conquer. Those guys attack too hard and too fast to uh, to handle multiple at once, or at least if you're a if you're a melee person, I get the feeling you can probably take that a lot better just by blocking. But for an agility person, if you don't have a good window to dodge and recover the stamina that you use while dodging, then yeah, you're kind of stuck. That's why multiple fast enemies, bad, bad. Especially when they can catch up with you. That's that's especially bad. Still on the on the plus side, it's a good opportunity to catch up a little bit more, uh, a little bit more experience, a little bit more poison moss. 
The good news is that this area is basically right next to a bonfire, so it's not too not too long to retread lost ground. I'm sure some of you were like, oh thank god, I thought he was gonna ramble on about something else now. Nope. See, like there's my old flame. Let's go ahead and just pick that up. So two weak guys here, and one more of those strong shadow monk type guys are gonna start dropping down. Yep, there he is. Using his darkness. Alright, so he seems to go typically for either a spinning attack, a power hit, or the old three hit combo. In which case, the usual, just um, dodge roll behind you. If you're an agility-based character or a mage, you, you want to maintain your, your range on this guy. You don't want to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. With the whip guys, I'm not sure the full extent range of their whip. Let's see if they're weak against fire. They're not, they're not necessarily wearing armor, although I think they're wearing helmets, but still. Try stabbing in the back. Eh. Not, not my cup of tea. Alright, so they're going to drop from above there, that little perch. Alright, so that's where they all are. Yeah, let's lure one at a time. Down this death trench. Choke point. Alright. Fire deals a little bit more damage to them. I, I'm seeing that. But fire is also slower. It, ta it has a longer casting time. And these guys might be too fast for that. I might need to switch out for Heavy Soul Arrow because Heavy Soul Arrow has a, a higher stagger than Great Soul Arrow. It doesn't deal as much damage, but it has more usages, and I notice that it has, when it's heavier, it, it staggers them more. You know, it hits their poise a lot more. It's like a heavy hitting weapon. And stopping a quick character in the middle of their actions is good because. Yeah, see, just like that, it stops them. He, like, completely stops, stunned for a second. Which is enough time for me to either roll away, roll away and heal, or just follow up with another casting. You could basically stun lock them with, with heavy spells. Alright. Let me try to... Alright, so you, you per jump from there, you jump from there. There we go, there's another one. Alright, come and get it. Finish you off. There we go. That was a lot better. Alright, was it just three? Oh, nope, there were four. <laughs> Alright, so two whip guys and two guys that kind of wield uh, these, these sort of man catcher slash axes. I don't know exactly what they're called. If you have a fire weapon. Wow, he had a jump kick. That's kind of cool. I don't think I've seen somebody with that close quarters combat. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. Alright, so they're kind of weak against fire. If you have a fire weapon, good for you. That'll certainly help. I wouldn't necessarily waste flame spells on them, though. Alright, let's see if there's anything interesting. Alright, so this is a very rickety looking bridge. Oh, you know what? I probably could have dropped down where that pharaoh stone was and dropped down in here instead of trying to jump. But you know what? Jumping worked just fine, so... It all worked out. Alright, this is a rickety bridge with a lot of holes. Like that one. <clears throat> Still a little sick, sorry. <coughs> Alright, so perfect. Dark Spirit ahead. Good to know. Undead Purgatory. So is this a new area? Let's take it nice and easy. I don't want to necessarily fight someone on this rickety bridge if I can help it. Okay, there he is. And he is a very big... Uh, that's like a super great sword. That's like the type of sword that's meant to chop horses in half. It looks like he has a tower shield too. Oh, come on. 
I was gonna try to snipe him. See if I can hit him from here. Well, that's not working. There we go, okay. Oh, there's an item there. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can draw him, actually. If he can fall off the edge, that would be great. I need to jump past these holes here. Alright, come and get me. Oh, he's not gonna come and get me. Oh, he's gonna block. Yeah, he is. Alright, so he's he's tougher than the other red phantoms, but I can... If he's not gonna move forward, I can kite him. Alright, come on. Lift your guard. Come on, lift your guard. There we go, thank you. Hey, don't run away. Don't run away because that's my strategy. Oh. So it seems this bridge is his threshold, and he's he's not going to exceed the boundaries. It looks like he doesn't want to fall off the edge, too. Oh, there's a Grey Mist door, okay. I don't know. Uh, it's clearly got to be a boss, then. A boss or the next area, the end of Purgatory. The fact that it's screaming undead means I need to have my um, need to have my fire spells ready. All right, can't unlock that gate. I can jump from here though. Here we go. Oh, oh, that's good. Sublime bone dust and a fire seed. Absolutely. All right, if I die in this next area, I'm gonna have to go back and uh, upgrade my fire then with that fire seed. Tears ahead, huh? Sounds like it's going to be tough. Alright, that's got to be a boss fight then. Alright, let's go in and see what we're up against. Got my fire ready. I'm healed up. Let's see what we're up against. Alright. Horse and skeleton ahead. That's okay. I guess mounted skeletons? Horseback riding skeletons? Oh, cutscene. Okay, this has got to be an important boss then. Oh, I look so ugly. Alright, so, lifting a gate. Oh, a, a charioteer, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, wow. He's coming straight at, straight at me, isn't he? Interesting. Oh, gosh, I'm in the middle of the road, aren't I? He's going to come charging at me, isn't he? Let me hide right here in this alcove. Oh gosh, skeletons, I'm buckled in. Oh! Well, thank you. Alright, those treasures, I probably could pick them up, but... Oh, necromancer. Okay. Okay, so there's a necromancer summoning skeletons. Alright, anybody that's caught in the runway is going to be run over. Okay. This is treacherous. Alright. Let me see if I can get them to be run over again. Perfect. Oh, but they're not going to die that easily because he's summoning them. I can just kill him quickly. Perfect. Two shots on this, on this um, necromancer with a fireball. Perfect. And he gets smashed. You're done. Alright, let me heal up. And you're almost dead. Let me try to finish you off. Alright, perfect. First stage clear. Oh, that was close. Okay, so... This reminds me of, um... A few other type of bosses that just keep moving and moving and moving. I either have to try to shoot them while they're moving. That seems really difficult, because I don't want to stand in front of that. And Or I need to find a way to stop them. Now, here's a gate. Maybe I can drop this gate and pen them in. Maybe that's what we have to do. We have to f drop gates along the way. Yeah, because there are all these gates along the ceiling. So that may be what we have to do. Ouch. Okay. I don't... Okay, run, run. Ah! Oh, I didn't get in fast enough. Okay, so... 
The fact that he opened a gate and there are multiple gates in this area probably means that I need to um, I need to close off this guy's running. I need to stop him and, and probably engage him somehow. So I'll check out how we do next time. Okay, so I'm back, and you probably noticed that I have a lizard on a stick now. On one of my previous attempts, my last one, I killed one of the necromancers, and he dropped his staff, which is a lot better than what I was doing. Alright, so I have a better strategy now. Here's how it's going to go down. I'm going to use the urine strategy and draw these skeletons off me. As usual, yeah, get them, get them to just focus on that, and they're going to get themselves smashed. Now, while they're buying time focusing on my urine and getting smashed, I'm going to move forward and attack the Necromancer. There are two Necromancers along this pathway. You need to kill both of them. Otherwise, these skeletons will keep resurrecting. Next, at the very, very top, there is a, um, there's a switch. I didn't reach the switch yet, but that switch has to be pivotal, because it's the same switch in the opening cutscene that let loose the Rider. That switch probably stops the Rider, too. So let's see what it does. Alright, again, these skeletons, you need to find a pocket really quickly. Let, let them get run over. Keep your guard up. And cast Yearn. And then just keep moving. Let them go after the decoy set, just like that. Alright. And the next one should be in the next pocket. And there's going to be a pocket right across from uh, where the next Necromancer is. Oh, there he is. My suggestion is getting in melee and, and either cutting him apart or what I'm going to do. I'm going to slap him in the face with my fireball. Because he'll try to hit you with his staff, but that that's so weak. So just hit him in the face with a fireball. And that's the switch right there. Right there. So I died last time right around here. Not this time. Urine really helps. It keeps all the smaller skeletons off your back. Alright, so I'm dropping a gate. So let's see what happens now. This is my first time getting this far. Drop one gate. Where's the other one? Oh, crap. Oh, hello. Nice. Okay, so this is the boss. It's just the horse. Oh, he's big. Oh, but he is... He is super weak against fire. And he blows shadow damage. Okay, that's... Hurts a lot, actually. <clears throat> but he is super weak against fire. And it looks like he has a charge attack, but that he telegraphs that a mile away. Alright, so he has a... I probably should... Yeah, I should probably move forward and get closer. Because he sprays that outwards, but he doesn't move. That's easy to dodge. Yep, dodge. Oh, double dodge. There we go. Oh, that minor skeleton's not even paying attention to me. Okay, now he is. Wow, you can get some range on this guy. This horse isn't exactly uh, the most intimidating, although I am very pleased. Finally, we get a, a non-human combatant. Oh, come on. You have to get in a little close for your fireball to hit. Alright, one more shot. Down you go, boy. Alright. Nice. You know what? Getting to the boss was actually a lot harder than the boss himself. Alright. First, first shot at the boss, first victory. Thank you, thank you. I think it's like the third boss that I that I beat on my first try. Although I guess if you want to consider the entire getting to the boss setup as well as taking on the boss's one encounter, then I did technically die. But how about we meet in the halfway? I have two and a half perfect victories now. 
Wow, he wasn't that bad at all. Yearn makes all the difference. I'm telling you. When you're fighting against mobs, yearn. Use yearn. And as you can see, the skeletons are too busy getting smashed as well as chasing my decoy that they are they completely stay off your back. Take care of the necromancers, go after the switch, and just continue lobbing fire at the at the horse. That's awesome though. I really like that. Let's see, were there any open doors? All these stairways. I wonder if they lead somewhere. Maybe the next area? Maybe? Because I see that open one over there. Maybe not. Well, I'm glad to finally get a non-human enemy. Or non-humanoid enemy. That was, that was some good stylized design there. That's what, that's what we're talking about, Dark Souls. Good job. So yeah, that was a lot easier than... um. Than so much of the other bases so far. Okay, so there's one guy up here. I guess that's it? I don't see a hidden door here, maybe? Alright. Bonfire. That's always good. But not a primal one, so that wasn't that big of a deal. Alright, what do you want? What is it? Oh. Okay. I guess they want either an item or something like that, or I need to complete something. Because they're not talking to me. It sounds like the, the Knight of the Blue Cathedral. He won't talk to you unless you have a particular item. Whatever that can be. Alright, but that, that really wasn't that bad of a boss. That was actually surprisingly easy. But then again, maybe it's because I'm a sorcerer and I have a boatload of fire. Fire is our forte if you're a sorcerer. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. Um, I have an extra branch of yore. I'm going to go back to, uh, let's see, the Bastille, and I'm going to take care of that undead purgatory. I guess that was really it. Let's see, was it Sinner's Rise or was it the Bastille? I think it was Sinner's Rise. Yeah. So we're going to go back to Sinner's Rise, and we're going to backtrack to the um, mummy room where that petrified guy is and see what he's all about. He looks like another sorcerer like me, so... Maybe it'll be a bro and help me out with a, some better shops or some better spells. I like his robes. Maybe he'll give me those. Alright, Sinner's Rise. Man, that, that really was a surprisingly easy boss. Maybe I was just slightly overleveled for that. I've been keeping up with, um, with my fire spells. Every fire seed I have, it only takes a few thousand souls to once you have a fire seed to upgrade. So keep doing that. I think my glove is at, at plus 5 right now. Plus 5 or plus 6. So that combined with the fact that fire is built off your intelligence, and of course I'm a sorcerer, so that goes hand in hand. And because I'm a sorcerer, I already deal better fire damage. Means that my fire attacks are very, very strong. So undead doesn't stand a chance. So that's my best strategy if you're a sorcerer. Yearn and fire spells. Yearn and fire spells. If I could have made one adjustment to that uh, last fight, I would have swapped out some of my um, soul arrows for combustion. Because I was going close range with many of those undead. Or at least they close range to you. Oh, that's right, I forgot all the mummies up here. Because they close in a close range, take, take that time to use combustion and just blow them away in close quarters combat. Ah, I remember when I used to run away in fear from you guys. That wasn't too long ago. And I upgraded my lizard on a stick staff. Because it, it, it has much better stats than most of my other uh, staves so far. And it looks like it's worth upgrading. Oh, dude, you look awesome. I want your robes. That guy looks awesome. Strayed. Hello, wandering sorcerer. Mm -hmm. Very cursed one. Weak, you may Looks like he likes my intelligence. He's like my teacher, the mock jester. I like your attitude, man. All right, let's let's chat. Once people face 
He seems pretty confident of himself for somebody who's just petrified. But I guess his respect is only for that. The witches, huh? Like those three witches in the beginning? Hmm. I wonder if I'm gonna have to fight those ladies earlier or later. Oh, he! Oh, nice. He, what he does is he's basically a, a boss weapon salesman. Oh, hello. Ruin Sentinel? Heavy homing Solero? Absolutely, I'm trading up for that. Perfectly, perfectly good use of the Ruin Sentinel. Alright, I don't see any staves here. Which is a shame. These are all mostly weapons. Really impressive weapons, but... Just melee weapons and shields. Mm, I might just pick up a shield later. They all require such high strength. Alright, that's awesome. So I trade in the boss souls that I've been hoarding so far for that. Ooh, increases intelligence, huh? Yeah, that's, that's a pretty penny, too. 28k. Oh, nice, the Rouge Water. Oh, hello. Yeah, you're an awesome guy, Strayed. Homing Soul Arrow. That used to be really, really handy in the first Dark Souls. Oh, he sells some high-level magic is what he sells. Some devastating magic here. Whew. Strayed is a no-slouch. I can see that. He's a high-level mage. As you can see, I'm currently level 100, even. And I'm, I'm not too bad. I'm your atypical sorcerer build. If you've been if you've been um, grinding in some of the previous areas, like I suggest, then you're going to be around this level too, no doubt. And as a level 100 sorcerer, you're going to be pretty well prepared for obviously the undead purgatory and the other bosses so far. Even if you're lower level, their incredible weakness to fire is just going to be to your benefit. So I'm letting this bonfire here, and here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go back to Majula. And we are going to go continue leveling up. And I suppose that's really it for that area. Because there was nowhere else I could think of of going in the Huntsman Copes. So I guess the next area is is that Harvest Land, that, that mining quarry area. So back to the mines next time. So once again, thanks for watching and keeping up with all this. Uh, if you like what you're seeing or if you have any suggestions, please leave a thumbs up or a comment below. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye.